Recently, I've been seeing a lot of misinformation about where Lua is used in the real world or what it's useful for and what it's good at or how fast it is. And so in this video, I want to do it some justice and kind of go over a brief overview of where Lua is actually used, some, you know, real life use cases that people have posted about where they use it, and then just a little bit about the technicalities behind the language itself. This is a Reddit post I made about two months ago asking where is Lua used in the real world and I gave some examples of where I would see it being useful, just some kind of the reasons you would use it, and then a bunch of people commented on what they've used it for with their own projects. You can see we have 101 comments. But before I get into this thread, I'm going to look at the Lua About page first and kind of pick out the most important stuff here. It's been used in many industrial applications with an emphasis on embedded systems and games. We're not even going to go over the showcase because there's just so many places where Lua is used. There's only eight on this page, but really, I mean, it's used in so many places. It would be hard to maintain an actual showcase. And even if somebody finds that it's not fast enough, you can always try the Lua JIT project, which is Lua, but it has a just-in-time compiler, so it's much faster than the interpreted version. Lua itself is on version 5.4 right now, and Lua JIT is stuck on version 5.1, but it doesn't really matter because not much has changed between those two versions. So in terms of game engines and video games, you'll often find Lua JIT being used because video games are big on performance. So back to the Reddit thread, I'm going to quickly read this so you get an idea of where I think that it should be used or some of the good reasons to use Lua. Back then I said, I've actively been using Lua for three years, mainly for game development. Here's where I've heard of it being used and some explanation behind each use case. Lua is often used as a developer-facing scripting language for adding or extending functionality to an existing low-level system, such as a game engine written in C++. It would suck to have to add game-related functionality in C++, then be forced to recompile after every change. Lua allows for faster development. Lua is extremely easy to interface with, with its C to Lua API, making for easy integration and maintainability in low-level systems. And then, of course, you can also use wrapper languages for the, for the Lua API as well. Lua is used as a scripting or configuration language in systems where memory is scarce, such as many embedded devices. The total memory footprint of the Lua source code is roughly 500 kilobytes, whereas the total memory footprint of the Python source code is roughly 28 megabytes which is more than 50 times larger. One of the big reasons why Lua isn't used as commonly as Python for scripting tasks is for the uh, third-party libraries. Python just has so many third-party libraries, it's hard to ignore. It can pretty much do whatever you want it to do as long as you aren't looking for something super high performance. And so Python is more easily approachable for beginners and just a more general audience. Like I said here, the problem with using Python for things like embedded scripting is that it's very large. And if you have limited amount of memory, you probably don't want to be using it because you want something much more lean that's still just as powerful, but maybe doesn't have all the third party library support that Python has. And then I said, is there anywhere else you've heard of Lua being used? And we got a ton of answers. I'm just going to read through the most interesting ones, I suppose. All right, so zooming in so you can see the screen. The first one says many, many current video games use Lua for internal logic and user mods, which is true, e.g. Factorio, Monkey Island, Zaktronic games, and many more. It's used by Nginx and NeoVim for configuration, extensions, and modifications. It's used as the scripting language by Redis. This guy here says, I have a project that generates music, art, poetry, divination, and all kinds of artifacts of human culture. Kind of a poetic way of putting this. World of Warcraft and Roblox. Another thing to note about Roblox is that it uses a custom version of Lua, and so do many other products that use Lua as an embedded scripting language. They use a custom version of it, which is not super difficult to do because the Lua language itself is just a handful of C files, and you just link them into your own C or C++ project. It's used in Wireshark. You can even develop your own plugins. Schneider Electric HVAC controllers. It's used in NeoVim, and the comment says, big kudos and thank you to the NeoVim folks for this one. Providing Lua JIT as an alternative to VimScript was a smart move. Moonray, the renderer that DreamWorks made, uses Lua as the text representation for the scene data. It's the scripting language of choice for media wiki wikis, Wikipedia, etc. You can supplement wiki text markup with Lua modules that do all the hard work instead of having your code be a mess of curly braces and commented out white space. This person's company uses it as a widely used REST API, Lua plus Apache plus MongoDB with some custom stuff around. MindTest uses Lua for mods. Also, Civ4 uses it as a modding language. Love2D is a Lua-based game engine. Uh, Love2D, I mean, it depends on what you mean by game engine. People like to fight about terminology. I don't care about the terminology on this stuff. It's actually a game framework, I suppose. 
a game engine usually means that it comes with an editor and a bunch of batteries included. But that's just the pedantic programmers who like to complain about that stuff. I don't have an opinion on that. AV control systems running on QSCs. QSYS use Lua for advanced scripting. I'll pretend like I know what that means. This person's worked on open resty based Lua JIT projects at his last three jobs. Again, I don't know what that means, but it sounds pretty cool. Smart Things, Samsung uses it for supporting home IoT devices on their platform. This person uses it for some general scripting and just testing concepts, but it's also used as the configs for NeoVim, Awesome Window Manager, and for Darktable plugins. You'll also see it used on embedded systems and microprocessors, of course. QSYS Audio Visual Overlay Control System. At this person's job, he uses it in an industrial embedded Linux device to script business logic, while the low-level protocols and communications are done in C. You write high-level logic in Lua and configuration things, and then you write the low-level logic and more performant things in C using the Lua to C API. Rapid Anti-Spam Solution HA Proxy Nginx Redis for server-side scripts as well as many games. We use it for control mass spectrometer operation at Thermo. Interfacing with the lower level C++ layer, it's also used in the Ion Optic Simulation software called Simian. This person used it at work measuring sequences in a Keithley 3706A. Was pretty cool. And yes, it sounds cool. MA Lighting Desks for light programming use Lua as a scripting language for plugins. Gary's Mod. It was also hidden in several DMX lighting controllers. Mosaic Pharos use it, as does Grand MA 2 and 3 lighting desks. A lot of this stuff I don't know what they're talking about, but it does sound interesting. It's also used in Pico 8, which is a retro fantasy console that you can use to make small video games. I recommend checking that out, it's pretty cool if you're interested in game development. More mentions of NeoVim and Roblox. Factorio. Frank Storyboard, which is a good resource for limited embedded devices to create custom user interfaces. Power DNS Recursor, used for configuration and scripting. Warframe. Pico 8's game engine, and then also Love 2D Game Framework, which I mentioned before. Nginx again. Game audio and sound design using DAW Reaper, which has a Lua API. Project Zomboid for modding. World of Warcraft add-ons. Reaper Vocaloid Moho uses Lua as a plugin. Lua is used in Wikipedia templates. Database management systems. A digital MIDI controller that can play and create MIDI files while playing on the MIDI controller at the same time. Cortex M47 microcontrollers. Remedy Entertainment. In a developer log they showed using Lua U. The U is not a typo, it's a typed version of Lua from the Roblox devs. For scripting and a whole lot of other things, they showed it on the example of Alan Wake 2. I didn't actually know that that existed, the Lua U version. Apparently that's just Lua with data types, with um, perhaps strict typing. Factorio and Binding of Isaac modding APIs. It's in the free BSD critical component. World of Warcraft for the interface. NeoVim again. More NeoVim extensions. LyraScript, when released, will be a completely Lua-driven text processing language for Linux. Cloudflare and Google are using Lua JIT specifically. Not sure what they're using it for, that's kind of a vague statement. It's the scripting language used by LGUANA, an interface engine by Interfaceware that's used primarily in healthcare settings. EA uses it in their Frostbite engine. Lua is used in Inmation as a scripting language for production data automation at the chemical plant I work at. Reaper DAW. Envoy Proxy can use Lua to write filters. So these were all the comments that were posted. And as you can see, there's a ton of different use cases. A lot of it's embedded scripting and configuration. And then much of it is also for game development and modding purposes. And both of those two use cases lend themselves well when you look at these three reasons that I posted up top. So if you're wondering where Lua is used in the real world, this video should give you an idea of that and give you some confidence behind using it. And feel free to leave a comment on YouTube saying where you've used it in the past as well. Lua is one of my favorite languages. I think it's my second favorite language right behind C. Of course, C being a much lower level language and then C and then uh, Lua being my favorite scripting language. There are good things and bad things about it, but I'm not going to get into that here. Just like every language. And that's it for this video. Thank you for watching.